step back. And I says, uh oh, I screwed up. He, I, I bet he was thinking himself, what a cocky high school coach. And I said, Father, the reason I'd be the greatest recruiter Notre Dame has ever had, I've learned from the best. Bear Bryant, Woody Hayes, Bo Schembecker, John Robinson, and Joe Paterno have walked through these doors for 18 years at Muller High School. So this is the third time I've been to Notre Dame, and I said, Marley, first place we're going to is the Grotto. And so we got in this crowd because the spring game, we drive, we get in and we get down. There's a lot of people down there and I found a place at the rail up there where you can kneel. So I got my kids down there and my wife and everything started. So I got up and I went over. There's a rock from Lourdes, which is uh, a replica of Lourdes. And, and, and I went over and touched the rock and prayed to God. And then I went back and I did canvas. So I walked back there. I looked back at my kids and my wife and here they're looking up at God praying. And I got tears in my eyes. And I says, man, this is worth the whole trip, just to see our kids and our, my wife praying to God. And I went back and I lit a candle for each one of our kids, which was three. I lit a candle for my wife, the godly protector, that's four. I lit a candle for my mother-in-law that lived with us, that was five. I lit a candle for my mom and dad who were still living, that was seven. And the eighth candle I lit was that if I ever became the head football coach at the University of Notre Dame, I'd come to the squad every day. Twelve days later, I get a phone call. I'm in the football office down there. Jim Higgins stands the phone. He says, a priest on the other phone. I went over the other phone. I said, Father, this is Jerry Faust. He says, he says, Coach, this is Father Joyce from Notre Dame. I said, Father, how are you doing? And I knew Father Joyce. Father, I spoke because I spoke places where they have spoken. He said, I'll be in town. I'd like to see you. I said, great. I'd love to see you, Father. So a week after that, we met down at the hotel at the convention center down in Cincinnati. I go up to the floor, knock on the door, walk in. Here's Father, six foot four, his collar on. And uh, we were sitting there just shooting the breeze, talking about life, talking about philosophy, and things like that. And all of a sudden, he said to me, I've got to talk to you in complete confidence. This is in May, three weeks after I lit that candle. And I said, oh, well, one of our football players is in trouble at Notre Dame. He's let me know before it gets out publicly. I said, okay, Father, I won't say anything. He said, would you be interested in being the head football coach at Notre Dame? And the tears started come down my face. I'll never forget as long as I live. I said, I would. I went down and I took the job. 